hi there guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video your support is much appreciated and for those of you that are new i'm Yolanda we talk all things keto low carbon banding today i'm going to show you how to make or i'm going to attempt a flaxseed bread recipe and an almond bread recipe i've been sort of tweaking and just testing a few um, and just seeing which ones are easy to make and not too complicated and not too many ingredients so if you're interested and you want to see how you can make a quick and easy microwave um, keto friendly low carb friendly and banting friendly bread then please stay tuned so let's get into this so i've got my almond flour like I said, we're going to try and make an almond bread. And then I've got whole flax seeds. Then I've also got some coconut oil. You can use butter as well, but um, I just thought let's use things that are easier. So let's, uh, then I've also got some pink Himalayan salt, some baking powder. And then I've got two whole eggs so so it's one egg for the flaxseed bread and one egg for the almond bread so I've got one teaspoon of the coconut oil that I'm going to heat in the microwave and just melt that down I just recently boiled some water and I'm going to take about 100 ml of that recently boiled water and add it to my coconut oil mixture. That is just to keep the coconut oil nice and melted. I'm going to use about 1 3 quarters of a cup of my flax seeds and then I'm going to grind them in my little coffee grinder. You can do them in your blender or your food processor as well, or you can just buy your flaxseed meal um, in the shops, which is obviously a little bit more convenient, but I prefer just to grind my own. So now that everything is nicely finely grounded, I'm going to add that mixture into the warm water and the coconut oil try and get every last little bit out of there <laughs> and then I'm obviously going to start mixing everything together I'm going to also add about a half a teaspoon of the baking powder into the mixture as well so now we're just going to make sure that everything is mixed well so that would be the flaxseed meal, the warm water, coconut oil, and the baking powder. I'm now also adding about a pinch of salt. Don't add too, too much salt, it's going to make the bread too salty. So just a pinch would just do the trick. And then just make sure that you mix everything through. I'm then going to crack one of the eggs into the mixture and just make sure that everything is well incorporated. As you can see, I'm just mixing, mixing, mixing. So basically what we're looking for, we're looking for a pancake, a pancake consistency, pancakes are a mixture consistency, and that is what we're looking for. So it shouldn't be too sticky, um, and it shouldn't be too dry or too runny. Um, if you if you make pan, if you've made pancakes before, you would know what that consistency um, looks like. So I've placed the mixture into the microwave for about three minutes. With my microwave, it took me about three minutes to get the batter nice and cooked and um, everything seems to be fine. You know, normally some recipes call for about two minutes. So I would, what I would advise you to do is check as the batter as you have your little mixture in the microwave. Just check it every time to make sure you're not overcooking the mixture.
so now I'm just going to make some tuna salad for my flaxseed bread I'm going to use some of my homemade pickle some tinned tuna salt some mayo and I think I used about a, I had about a small piece of onion and I used some of that onion to add into the mixture as well so now I'm just chopping up the onion finely and I'm going to uh, going to start assembling my tuna salad So I'm now going to use my flaxseed bread to assemble my sandwich. I'm going to keep my almond bread for another day. What I've also done is I've toasted my flaxseed bread in the toaster. So I'm just stopping it now with the tuna salad that I made. And I'm also going to cut up some of my avo and then top the sandwich with some of the avo as well as you can see i'm cutting everything up and i'm just going to top it up as well so the bread came out very nice i was quite impressed i tried to get recipes that has very little ingredients and not something i have to specifically go out and buy so i just wanted to keep it quick and easy and i was pleasantly surprised at the taste of the flaxseed bread um so i'm i'm i can honestly say i'm addicted <laughs> So that's going to be my go-to for from now onwards. So everything came out nice as you can see the sandwich was delicious So try it and let me know and thank you so much for clicking on this video. and Thank you for your support Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye